Hi guys, welcome to another video on Barrel Flex. This will be part five. If you haven't seen the previous, please go back and watch them because they all lead on to each other. In this specific case, we're going to be testing one of our other aluminium barrels. We have two. This one, very few people know about it. It's exactly the same OD rail position. Everything is the same except the wall is thinner. The reason being, when we first started out, we used to make majority 1.1, 1.2, and sometimes 1.3 barrels. The wall thickness on those barrels was specific for that length and powered up accordingly. But we had a lot of requests for shorter and smaller guns, lighter rubbers, and there was no point in having such a thick walled barrel. Although we did use it in the past, we in the past, I think six, seven years ago now, we've started with a thinner walled one. We only use this in short barrels, one meter and less with single bands or rubbers. We don't power them up. So this demonstration is purely to show what happens when you do power up the thin walled in a 1.3 length. Remember, we don't make guns like this. This is just to show you the amount of flex and how much the wall thickness does play a part. We set at zero, same jig, same clamping device, same load cell pulling, point everything's exactly the same laser position and the laser target let's power it up you see immediately as the pressure starts it starts to move a little bit of bumping you see is the slide itself jamming here but it doesn't affect the actual load itself there we go that's about as strong you'd want to load up a single rubber so in my opinion you could probably use a single on this length. Personally, I'd rather not. Let's take it higher now. So that would be how much power you'd get from two bands. You can see there's about 12 centimeters of change in position for the laser dot. Quite simply, not really suitable for that much power. You don't use these, but this just goes to show how much the wall thickness can play a part. In this case, we're talking about 0.2 of a millimeter. That's really a small uh, percentage of overall barrel wall thickness. So the normal one is about 1.4, this is one mil. So it's 0.2 in actual wall thickness. Hope you enjoyed that video. Please feel free to ask questions. Anything else you want us to test, go ahead.